That's absolutely right. I am near one of the entrances of the Asheville Park neighborhood off Sandbridge Road. Now, folks here know all too well the effects that Hurricane Matthew had in the fall of 2016 with all that flooding. As you can see behind me, there's a pump station here. There's been lots of work done, but still public works crews really keep a close eye on this area to keep making sure that it doesn't get to that point where it was in 2016. Now, I caught up with crews earlier today at the ocean front, making some advanced preparations before Elsa. And other than that, it was a seemingly normal day at the ocean front, very hot and breezy. This bright, colorful mural may soon contrast the heavy rains and strong winds that tropical storm Elsa could bring to our area. Windy. <laughs> Windy and hot. <laughs> that warm breeze is helping the paint dry ahead of any severe weather. These artists from D.C. and Baltimore hope they can get three murals painted before the storm. But we're just going to keep going as fast as we can, work late into the night, and hopefully we can get some done in the next couple of days, even if it's raining a little bit. Meantime, just a few blocks away, public works crews are doing what they can in advance. We've ratcheted up a couple of degrees today. Workers are using a vacuum truck here to clear out drains and pump stations. Just run a huge hose down there, cut it on in Coke cans, whatever, you know, cigarette butts. But yeah, it just sucks up everything and then they take it away and dispose of it. And while they're hitting the usual trouble spots across the city, Public Works says it's too much to do at the last minute, so they maintain year round. If we waited, oh, there's a hurricane coming on Friday, we better get busy, you know, it just, it, it wouldn't happen. They are keeping a close eye on the south side near Sandbridge, the Back Bay area. We might not get any rain, but if the wind comes out of the south, we're going to have flooding in the, in the southern end because they get flooding without a drop of rain. And there's still time tonight to check your yard, secure any lawn furniture, pick up any toys or decorations, and you should still have some time tomorrow morning, first thing, to do that as well. And you want to check the gutter, the, the curb area near your home, to make sure there's not any debris that could wash into the storm system. But we will keep you updated on air and online. For now, I'm live in Virginia Beach, Angela Bohan, News 3.